Hi, my name is Linda. I am not a medical professional, and the information in this video is for your information only. If you have any worries about your condition, consult your healthcare professional. In this video, I shall explore chronic pain, some common diseases that put people at risk, and much more. But first, I shall explain the understanding of arthritis. When you develop arthritis, or any other disease that causes inflammation of the joints, it can lead to pain that could become very painful, swelling, and stiffness in the affected area, which could then result in the progression of limited joint movement. There are two main types of arthritis, osteoarthritis, which attacks the joints, and rheumatoid arthritis, which attacks the healthy immune system and joints. There are 100 different types of arthritis, and various causes. Osteoarthritis is the most common type, often called wear and tear of the joints. Osteoarthritis attacks the cartilage of the joints, a flexible tissue surrounding the ends of the bones in the joints. It slowly wears away, leading to the two bones of the joints rubbing together, causing pain, swelling, and noises such as scraping and rubbing as you move. The second common type is rheumatoid arthritis, which attacks the healthy immune system. This mistakenly attacks the synovium, a thin membrane that lines the joints. Symptoms could include inflammation and pain and can be symmetrical, meaning that if you have it in your right wrist, you may get it in your left wrist. Another common chronic pain disease is psoriatic arthritis, which causes pain, swelling, and sausage-like fingers and toes. The pain could also be at the tendons and ligaments attached to your bones, like the back of your heels, called Achilles tendinitis, or the sole of the foot, called plantar fasciitis. Another type of chronic painful disease could be ankylosing spondylitis, an inflammatory arthritis that attacks the spine and leads to the fusion of the spinal vertebrae. Gout is another common type. Yes, gout is a type of arthritis that attacks mainly the big toe, but can also affect your fingers. Gout occurs when you have too many uric acid crystals in the joints. The last type of chronic pain could be your little children. This is called juvenile idiopathic arthritis. It can occur in children up to 16 and cause persistent joint pain, swelling, and stiffness. There are many risk factors of arthritis, which can include genetics. If you have a family history of rheumatoid arthritis or ankylosing spondylitis, you may be at a high risk of developing the condition. Age, unfortunately, your age is a crucial risk factor, particularly if you have osteoarthritis. This is an aging condition, and as you age, the joints become worn away. Lifestyle factors. It is vital to change your lifestyle. For example, you should eat proper foods, such as fruit and vegetables, poultry, and much more. If you listen to this video to the end, I will show you how to eat healthier. You should also exercise, this will help keep your joints supple and moving. Keeping your weight down is another way to help with the pain. Being overweight is a crucial risk factor for developing arthritis. Being overweight puts more pressure on your weight-bearing joints, which are your knees and hips, and it accelerates the risk of osteoarthritis. Injury and overuse. If you play a repetitive sport like tennis, or do other activities that involve repetitive work, you may be at risk of excessive stress in the specific joint, such as tennis elbow, which may develop into osteoarthritis. Also, if you have an injury, you may also develop osteoarthritis, as in my case I fell on some ice one winter's day and landed on my right knee. I now have osteoarthritis in my knees, left hip, and going to my shoulders and elbow with a right hip replacement. There are many symptoms of arthritis that can become chronic and debilitating. They include, pain is the most common symptom of arthritis. It can vary in strength and duration. Osteoarthritis can worsen when you do any activities and improve with rest. Rheumatoid arthritis pain can be worse in the morning or after rest, but reduces when you start working around. Swelling and inflammation the most common types of inflammation are when you develop germs such as bacteria, viruses, or fungi, or external injuries like a scrape, or a thorn in your finger. Inflammation helps to heal, and swelling comes with inflammation, 
helping to alleviate the symptoms of inflammation. This is especially true for rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and gout. Stiffness is one of the main symptoms of arthritis during periods of inactivity. Especially in rheumatoid arthritis, you can experience stiffness first thing in the morning, and it can take more than an hour to start moving properly. Chronic pain means that the pain persists and lasts a long time, continues after the cause has been treated, and develops into a condition, whereas acute pain is a warning signal of injury or damage that lasts until it is healed. Chronic pain is a complex mechanism that involves your nervous system and immune response, changing how your brain processes the pain signals. The mechanisms are categorized into three types, nociceptive pain, your pain receptors, called nociceptors, respond to injury, inflammation, or a result of tissue damage. Neuropathic pain, neuropathic pain develops from damage to the nerves or dysfunction. This pain is less common in arthritis, but can still happen significantly when joint damage intrudes on nearby nerves. Central sensitization is the primary mechanism behind chronic pain, especially when pain persists or becomes widespread. It changes the central nervous system, which includes the brain and spinal cord, where the pain signals are processed. Living with chronic pain and arthritis 24-7 can be debilitating. Managing the pain requires a complex approach that should be both the physical source of pain and its emotional and psychological impact. The complete approach aims to reduce pain, improve joint movement, and improve quality of life. Medical intervention, the common method of helping your pains is not forgetting to take your medication. Depending on the type of arthritis you have, its severity, and your overall health, there are a variety of drugs. They can include, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are the most common that are prescribed for pain and inflammation. Disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs are mainly used to treat autoimmune types of arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis, and psoriatic arthritis. Biologic therapies are a new class of drugs that target specific immune system components, such as tumor necrosis factor, in response to an infection. Another type of drug is corticosteroids, which are powerful anti-inflammatory drugs that quickly relieve pain and swelling. They are taken orally or injected straight into the painful joint for local relief. Some non-medical treatments are different therapies that help with your pains and inflammation. They include, physical therapy is vital for managing pain, improving mobility, and maintaining strength and flexibility. Your physiotherapist will do a unique exercise plan just for your condition, which will help strengthen your muscles around the joints, reduce stiffness, and alleviate pain. It is also vital to exercise daily. It is best to do low-impact exercises, such as walking, swimming, or Tai Chi. These keep your joints flexible and support muscle strength, reducing joint strain. Water-based exercises can be especially beneficial when you have arthritis, as you are buoyant in the water. This can reduce joint stress, allowing you to move more freely. Aqua therapy classes or walking in the swimming pool help strengthen muscles and improve joint function. Other therapies could be acupuncture or massage therapy, but you must go to a specially qualified person. I tried acupuncture, but it got too expensive. However, it did help. Heat and cold therapy can also help. A heat pack can help relax the muscles and relieve stiffness and pain, whereas cold packs reduce inflammation and numb deep pain. When you live with chronic pain, you can become isolated but there are support groups where you can share your experiences and learn from others facing similar challenges. Support groups help with emotional support, can reduce feelings of isolation, and could offer practical tips for managing pain. If you do not want to see people face to face, there is also an online community where you can find local arthritis foundations that can be valuable resources for finding support and connecting with others who are going through the same feelings as you. When you develop arthritis, it is not just a condition affecting your joints. It can feel like a lifelong challenge with persistent chronic pain 24-7. Unfortunately, 
Chronic pain from arthritis cannot be cured. All you can do is to help reduce the pain so that it is manageable in everyday life. Thanks for listening to my video. I am not a medical professional, and the information in this video is for information only. If you have any worries about your condition, you should consult with your healthcare professional. If you found this video helpful, please click the subscribe button to follow my channel and press the bell. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and I will get back to you. I hope this video has helped, and good luck.